Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once more. For today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to really amp up your club sandwich game with this beautiful maple roasted turkey and bacon club using my very own whole roasted turkey breast with maple seasonings from scratch. Of course, I wanna thank Kroger for sponsoring this video and helping me create this, what I would call stand-worthy sandwich with some of their very accessible, simple, and delicious ingredients. Okay folks, it's time to dive into the recipe. First thing on the agenda is getting the turkey breasts prepped. If you're using a whole turkey like I am, make sure to drain away any excess liquid and pat the turkey off with a dry towel. Next, you're gonna remove the wings and start to carve the breast meat away from the breast bone with clean knife strokes. Store the legs for braising later on in the freezer and use the bones uh, for turkey stock as soon as you can. So before I get started on my next task, I always like to do a once over to sanitize my work area, especially when working with such a large piece of raw meat. Uh, once that's all cleaned up, I'm going to season the breasts with a mixture of brown sugar, salt, maple syrup, chopped thyme, rosemary, and sage. Once the maple glaze is applied evenly around the skin, I'm gonna finish it with black pepper, dried oregano, and fennel seeds for a really beautiful rustic savory vibe. Uh, I'm using fennel pollen from my fennel plants last year, luckily, but ground fennel seeds will work just fine for this. You're gonna roast the turkey breasts in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for one hour or until the breasts reach an internal temperature of 155 degrees Fahrenheit. I usually shoot for about 150 uh, for sandwich meat, but 155 to 160 can work if you're a little worried about temperatures. Of course, when they are ready, remove the turkey breasts from the oven, and when they are finished roasting, I personally like to let them rest with the top of the breast facing down to catch all the juices as they flow through the meat. As soon as uh, they've cooled down, wrap in plastic or vacuum seal until they're ready for use. Almost all clubs have bacon in them, and this will be no different except I love to cook my bacon on a tray overlapping each other and under the broiler until it's super, super crispy. The shingle shape of the bacon sets up for a really nice looking and evenly distributed sandwich. Um, I cook the bacon carefully under the broiler and flip about halfway through with a very, very watchful eye. Just make sure to rest the cooked bacon on some paper towels to absorb the excess fat. Next on the list is my winter herb aioli. So for this, it's just a medley of chopped thyme, sage, and rosemary that will be mixed in a small bowl with Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, fresh cracked black pepper, and white wine vinegar. Uh, you're gonna give that a good mix and set aside until you're ready to use it. When the roasted turkey has cooled down, remove one of the breasts from the fridge and carefully slice the breast meat at an angle and as thinly as you're able to. But thicker slices will be just fine. So personally, I like my club sandwiches lightly toasted. So for this one, I'm gonna take it a step further and toast the sourdough bread 
with a little bit of butter on my hot flat top for another layer of beautiful flavor and texture. Uh, but really the trick with this one, at least for me, is to do a really light toast on it, otherwise it can dry out the sandwich. Once that bread is toasted, organize all the ingredients in order and begin to assemble uh, the club how you see fit. Uh, but the way I do it is first thing to go down is a generous spread of that winter herb aioli, uh, then the freshly sliced maple roasted turkey, crispy applewood bacon of course, then a couple slices of this extra sharp cheddar cheese that I absolutely love. Um, after that comes the romaine lettuce, sliced tomatoes, then I'm gonna to top those with some fresh cracked black pepper and repeat once more for the final layer. And that's it folks, homemade maple roasted turkey and bacon club. So hopefully you enjoyed my take on this maple roasted turkey and bacon club. I used to make uh, club sandwiches a long, long time ago uh, at a country club, uh, not too far from here. And I would, you know, I would, it was like this almost separate kitchen that you would serve uh, club sandwiches, breakfast burritos, different types of chopped salads to the golfers that would go through. And so I'm, I love making clubs. Um, there's a, a variety of them to make. Uh, but I always love whole roasting my meats um, and trying to make at least a combo of store-bought and um, some you know homemade items as well. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed my take on it. Um, I do want to thank Kroger for sponsoring this video. Obviously, um, they provide some incredible ingredients that I love to work with. Very simple, very accessible, very affordable, but also quality ingredients as well. So uh, with that said, I'm going to dive into the sandwich, run through the flavors, and uh, tell you guys how I did. So this is... Normally they would put toothpicks in them and you cut it in fours, but I don't have toothpicks right now. So this is gonna be an insane, deliciously insanely beautiful. Mmm, <laughs> ooh, the turkey's sweet, but this looks good. Super, super good, wow, mmm. It's been a while since I've had a club and I love them, they're just, they're packed, packed with flavor, loaded with different ingredients. You can add avocado, you can omit certain things. This is really good. Mm. The super sweet turkey with the applewood bacon, such a killer combo. This turkey is a little bit sweeter than the, uh, like any store-bought sliced meat that you would get, um, just because I added a little bit more sweetness to, uh, not the marinade, but just how I stored it. I put a little more maple syrup in the bag and sealed it. And so, you know, it retains a lot of that, um, that sweet maple flavor. When you slice it, the skin kind of blends in, melds those flavors, and uh, it's just a really beautiful customized flavor that you can make at home with really good ingredients. So yeah, I love making clubs. It reminds me of uh, the country club I used to work at. Uh, so good memories. There's lots of other you know, fun stories with that place as well, but um, that's where I really learned how to make my first you know, turkey club. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I do here. Make sure you check the description box down below for ingredient lists and equipment links. Of course, thank you Kroger for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun um, you know, playing around with the ingredients and whipping up something um, pretty spectacular. So thank you Kroger. Leave a comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks.